change time. One of my favorite activities. Okay, guys, so today we're gonna be uh, cleaning the engine per se because we are not putting in the normal oil. We're using a uh, cleaning oil and it's a special oil that uh, you can put in an engine that hasn't been well that hasn't had an oil change in a very long time like this uh, I think that the oil has not been changed for approximately 10 to maybe 12 years so uh, this oil is a bit more uh, a bit more thinner and it contains some crap that cleans the oil uh, the old oil away and then after a wee bit of running it, they're gonna you know dump it out and put in some fresh oil, and that way the engine will be cleaner. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Exactly. But before I fill in, I want to check check one thing. Let me just grab my special book. I'm looking the Honda owner's manual uh, on where we have the, the oil filter is and it seems that it's right here so we're gonna grab a wrench and take that off because I think that Marcus didn't uh, didn't take the oil filter out because we might need to change it Let me just go grab a wrench, not a key. Take this cover off. It's important that you also take a look at the oil filter when you're changing the oil. It's not just the oil that uh, should be you know, inspected. There we go. All the screws are out. Put them here. And let me just show you exactly where the oil filter is. Give you a better look for it. Okay, so this thing is the oil filter, and I strongly doubt that Marcus has opened it. Yeah, that has not been touched for a while. And the oil filter, just a teeny tiny filter, but it's very important because it all the bigger uh, sludge parts that you know make it to the system they stay in the oil filter, so it's very important. To at least inspect it and ah, that little 
bastard. Let me just go grab me. Rubber hammer. Ah, yes. See? That's what happens when you forget about these things. I mean, look at all that crap in there. This oil filter is... completely trash. Okay, so as you can see, the oil filter was full of crap. As always, uh, you're gonna have to clear it up a little bit, but try to check on the spring. It looks good, it looks quite okay. So I'm gonna just suck up the crappy oil out of the compartment and then pour in some glorious fresh cleaning oil to you know make it nice and tidy and then next week perhaps yeah okay fine a little bit and then I'm going Det är så lite igen, det är bara att ta kropp. För det är en oljefilt som det är... Det är bara en filtrering som säger den så här. Det är inte så mycket som ligger in i det här. Speciellt det är en pitteliten filt där. Och så bilen... Oljefilter i bilen är ju så stor. Sant? Men här inne... Pitteliten... Pitteliten oljefilter. Jag tror det är bara en liten hula här så det kommer in. Uh, hard for the camera to focus, but the seal is looking good. The o-ring is fine, I think. It's not crack or anything, so uh, we're gonna keep using it. And uh, gonna pour in some fresh stuff. Okay, let me just screw this in nice and quickly. Gonna fill up the oil and then gonna go uh, uh, probably move on to my own bike because I got a surprise waiting for you guys today. Ah, that was Und äh, Otto will ich da. Ich probiere ein bisschen bei Elgo. Ja, da ein Liter, aber kann man. Tue ihn halt. Und wenn der wird schon voll da, was dann nächsten drückt er einen guten Teil ab. Okay guys, fresh oil is uh, is in, although I poured in a little bit too much, that's fine. Uh, this is just a cleaning oil, it's not going to be there for, uh, for a long time, just uh, like one day trip. Uh, but although the oil filter is, uh, well we're going to buy a new one, so before we take a trip with it to you know make the uh, cleaning oil do its thing we're gonna wait for the new oil filter and that's gonna be it for today with this bike uh, and in next episode we're gonna be fixing uh, the coolant filling fresh coolant into this thing and maybe the oil cleaner we'll see but now we're gonna go over to 
some of the other projects that we've got. Okay guys, so are going on as you can see, my Dalen is here and this, this is going somewhat in like, uh, like this and like this and it's going to be somewhat like that. I personally think it looks actually, it looks good, it looks very nice. And now, we have to find a way to install this, this is meant for Harley Davidson, because they don't sell particularly any more, they don't really sell, sell accessories for this bike, you can buy bags or like wind seals and stuff, but uh, not this, but since I'm very lazy, I like to just, you know, lean back and drive and like really couch position. Uh, so I'm gonna shit, step on shit. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to. Uh, uh, we are gonna try to come up with a way to make this work. Yes. I think it is. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Well, ah. it's and I, I am quite okay. I'm fine with the quality. I think it's, I think it's good. But the hardware that it came with was completely shite. I mean, the screws were so fucked up that you couldn't even use them. So I just manufactured my own screws for this and. Uh, Come on, get it. Of course it's... <laughs> so yeah, the, the the hardware for this sucks like real bad. Really, it's uh, super low quality. But, all in all, I must say, look at this, it's really cool, look at this, right, and, oh, what a nice feeling this is, it's like having a, having a bed crest is great, and it's, perfectly positioned uh, this is not meant for my bike this is meant for Harley Davidson so I uh, I just drilled out the holes myself I checked it and uh, uh, should work quite just fine I must say I am pretty impressed with this very comfortable very nice I can finally loosen up a little lean back and just but that's fine. I don't mind a wee bit of flex. Just like I like this. It's amazing. I love it. Really. Good stuff. So what are we going to be trying to do now is figure out a way to... Sorry for the wind, but uh, we've got a wee bit of storm coming. But you've got to figure out how to... Uh, 
and if we can mount the uh, passenger seat back on because we are not sure if it's possible but if it is we'll do it Okay, so this is how the seating looks like. We managed to get the passenger seat on, which is great. I think this looks good. It definitely feels very comfortable. So I would say that mission accomplished, definitely. Looks good. So now I'm gonna go for a we uh, so-called canoe trip because Marcus's uh, moped is currently under repair so we've got a uh, wheel, we've got a flat tire. But yeah, I think this is great. 